Hi there, this is David Pringle. This video is a brief overview of some of the best features of the iOS version of Google's Snapseed app. For the full review and more detail, please visit PringlePhoto.com. Now, uh, to start with, I'd like to say this is an older app. This isn't something new, um, but it is a part of my workflow on almost a daily basis. Uh, most of my photography includes more than one app, um, sometimes up to four or five apps to get a specific look that I need. So this app is usually a part of that workflow because there are some tools here that you just can't find anywhere else and they work extremely well and it's very intuitive. So uh, what I'd like to do is show you some of my favorite features and I'll describe the rest on the uh, blog. Thank you. Uh, what you see in front of you is the opening page of Snapseed. They always start you up with the uh, sample image. Uh, it's a very good image for you to practice on uh, because of some of the um, parts of the image that actually work very well with the tools. So if you're going to practice, learn there first, then bring your own photos in. So how you bring your own photos in is click on the open on the top left and pull one out of your library and I pull one out of my favorites and click use and there you see I have an image it's very flat not very exciting and I want to add a little bit of life to it so what we're going to do is start off by uh, making corrections to the entire image uh, we click tune image on the left side and this gives us the ability to affect the entire image all at the same time every feature in uh, Snapseed is based on gestures. So if you want to make adjustments, you actually slide your finger on the screen. If you look at the bottom, you'll see that there's a meter and it says brightness above it. If I slide my finger up and down on the screen, we go through other tools that you can use within this um, adjustment screen. So right now what I'm going to do is adjust brightness. So I leave it there on brightness. I'm going to slide my finger to the left to bring the brightness down. I'm just trying to bring a little bit more detail into the sky and a little bit of more detail into the water there. So, all right, I'm happy with the brightness, so I'm gonna move up here to ambiance. Ambiance just brings a little bit of glow, brings a little bit of detail out. It's just a nice little touch that um, Snapseed has. I like to bring that in just for that little bit of kick that it gives it. And I'm gonna give a little contrast because they never have enough contrast and saturation and just a little bit of warmth because uh, with all the blue sky and the blue water it just tends to be a little cold so I'm going to make it a little warmer than usual so across the bottom of the screen you'll see a cancel button on the left compare button undo and apply cancel does just what you think it would do it'll kick out any changes you've done take you back out to the main screen Compare will allow you to review what you've done to the image versus what it looked like before. Undo, you can undo one step at a time. <clears throat> and apply, which applies the adjustments that you've made and brings you out to the main screen of Snapseed. So I'm gonna push the compare button. This is what the image started like. This is what the image looks like now that we've made these basic adjust adjustments. And you can see it's a very quick way to make some nice adjustments to make your image pop just a little bit. I'm not going to stop there though. There are some other tools. I hit apply on the right side. There are some other tools within the app that work very well. Uh, my favorite is the selective adjust tool at the top here. I'm going to click that. What this tool does is allows you to lay points on the image to create very intricate masks that you don't need to do anything more than pick a color and a texture. It's a very complex uh, under the hood kind of a thing, extremely intuitive and very easy to use. So um, I click the add button to the left of the uh, meter area there and I've got my finger out here in the water. I'm trying to find a spot and right there I've laid a point. Now if I were to bring my fingers out like I was uh, like you pinch or pull in order to do a, to enlarge a photograph you can actually make the area that you're affecting larger or you can make it smaller to uh, affect the area that you want to change. So I want to actually move my point because I don't like where this is affecting. So I'm going to move my point down. I'm going to grab the point 
and swing it down here. And again, I'm just going to bring it up. I'm not happy with that spot either, so I'm just going to bring it up a little bit more here. Let's try right there. There we go. I like that coverage, so I'll go with that one. Now, just like the other tools, you slide your hand, your finger left or right. And I want to bring this right, the brightness up, so I'm going to slide right. I'm comfortable with that. Now, you also have additional adjustments that you can make. You slide your finger up, you get contrast. Just in that mask area, you're going to increase the contrast. And that brings out the detail underneath the surface just a little bit. Slide up for saturation. I'm going to bring a little bit more in there. Okay, I'm happy with that. I'm going to hit the compare button. And you can see what it looked like before and what it looked like after our adjustment. Already has a little bit more pop. I may want to make a couple more adjustments to the image. Hit the add button. I'm going to go up here in the mountains. All right, I'm going to pick a spot and I'm going to spread this out. And you'll see it's affecting the water as well as the mountain. And that's because the reflection in the water is the same color as the mountain, the green. So Snapseed's smart enough to know that you want to adjust all of those colors. So I'm going to increase the brightness by sliding right. I'm going to slide up to contrast, increase the contrast so we can see a little bit more of the trees. And just increase the saturation and bring a little bit more green in there. And click the add button. I want to make one more adjustment on this. It's been driving me crazy. We have this highlight up here that's just a little too blown out. So I'm going to bring the brightness down on that. Now, if you take the brightness too far, it fills with gray. You don't want to take it that far. You want to bring it down just enough that you get the detail that you're looking for. And again, I'm going to come up to contrast, decrease the contrast for this one, and increase my saturation in the blues. And here's the compare button. Just those three little points made all those changes to the image. So I'm going to click Apply. We're back out to the main screen. And the last tool that I really love about Snapseed, and this is one of the things that keeps me coming back, is the Details uh, tool here. So I'm going to click Details. Now, most applications have a way of increasing the sharpness. Uh, the problem with sharpness filters, they tend to uh, use pixel differences to increase the contrast. So on a pixel level, it actually creates opposing colors and can make an aura or it can make grain in the image. So you don't want to overdo sharpening in any application, but Snapseed is very good at what it does and it doesn't actually create an aura even out at 100%. You can see on the tree, the little branch is sticking out of the water there. It's just starting to look a little funky, but I'm going to bring it back. I still think 25 is probably the maximum I want to go on this screen. Now, if I slide my finger up again, I get one more tool in this screen, and that's structure. Structure is, I've only found it in maybe two or three other apps, but none have done it as well as Snapseed. What structure does is it increases the micro contrast on your entire image. And there's no way to explain it other than to show you. So I'm going to slide my finger all the way up to the top. Now what you can see now is that everything in this image, all of the details have been brought out at a uh, pixel level. They're uh, sharpened and then the area around them is sharpened and the um, highlights and shadows are kind of drawn together. So it really makes it pop, brings a lot of detail out problem is it can be overdone and it looks horrible like it does right now. So I'm bringing it all the way back down. This is what we started with. I'm going to bring it up a little bit. So I think that maybe we're about where I want it to be. Again, I don't want it to look like I'm overworking this image. I don't want it to look like it's overdone. I want, to look, I want it to look like how I wanted it to come out of the camera. So I'm going to compare. And to me, it just looks like it's nice and sharp. It doesn't look like it's overworked. So I'm going to stay with that. Um, another use for structure that I love uh, are portraits of men. For some reason, portraits of men with the structure filter are e extremely intense. And lines and features in men's face give them character that you can't do to a female face. So the structure tool can be used very smartly on a male portrait. I'm going to click Apply. We're coming out to the main screen. 
Uh, again, at the bottom, you see compare, revert, save, and share. Pretty self-explanatory. Uh, compare shows us that's how the image came into Snapseed. And that's all of the adjustments that we've made. We've made it com look completely different in just a few minutes. And imagine how much faster, if I weren't explaining how to do it to you, imagine how much faster I could do this. And you can really get an image the way you like it and drop it out to someone on the internet um, or post it to your blog or whatever you need to do in a very timely manner with this app because you can make the gestures are just so intuitive and so fast that you can make an image very appealing very quickly. Revert takes you back to the original uh, image that you started with, takes away all of the corrections that you've made. Save obviously saves to your camera roll and share gives you a few options here. So uh, that's basically the, my favorite features of this app. There are more uh, functions all available on the left side on the toolbar here. For more details on the blog, this is David Pringle. Thank you for joining me, and I'll see you again at PringlePhoto.com. Thank you.